It starts with love. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I'm designed this rhyme to explain in due time. All I know, time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock ticks life away. It's so unreal. It didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Trying to hold on. To didn't even know I wasted it all just to watch you go. I kept everything inside and even though I tried, it all fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time I tried so hard. Welcome to Newell Texaco Cup Series testing here at Talladega. We'll have the Veterans Showdown and the Texaco Cup Shootout. The Texaco Cup Shootout will feature poll winners and rookies from for season two. Now this is going to be a now this is going to be a 25 minute testing session. Twenty-five minute testing session. As you see, some people, are all, some person is already out on the track. Let's see who's going to be that. Who's going to be first up on the track? It's gonna, it's gonna be Nick Pericles. He is from Oreo Motorsports. He's one of the veterans from this season. One of the veterans. He's from last season. Oreo Motorsports features Brenda Pericles, Nick Pericles, and Amanda Pericles. Oreo Motorsports had full. More Oreo Motorsports was also a team last season, so this is gonna be well, this is gonna be like the only team that will be from last season. Nick Pericles starting the, his first lap, and m as much people know, this is not Daytona. The finish line is not in the middle of the tri -ovals. The, the last straight of the tri -oval. As you can see, Nick Pericles, apparently his off lap was was uh, accounted for, and he pulled a 59.152. Other people are falling to their steps with the 59s. But Nick Pericles... He will have a better lap on the second lap. Ooh, Oreo Marker Sports one two. I think the number ten is um Brenda Pericles. As I might I might be wrong on that. Fifty point zero three one. New fastest time. Let's see if there's a pack going on. Bunch of people are coming out, but ooh! Brenda Pericles is in the 10. She is also for Oreo Motorsports. Then we have uh, Zachary Taylor, is a rookie. Ooh, let's take a look at her fastest. The 93. There's two 93s in this field. Alan Cavagnaro for Bull Ring Motorsports. He is fastest at the 49.202. There are teams with only there's only one car teams. There's uh, about two or three of them. There's Bassina Motorsports. There's Texaco Cup Motorsports. Then there's, um... Yeah. Can't remember who the thing... Oh yeah, Sanford Motorsports. And that Sanford Motorsports is owned by the veteran, Henry Sanford. As now we have a, we have a new fastest time. 
TJ Williams for Williams Racing. He has his brother Gabe Williams also in that team. Williams Racing is going to be one of those uh, teams. You can see, Lil Pack is trying to start the form here. Four to eight point two nine zero. That's the fastest lap in this testing session so far. There'll be two testing sessions. Whoa, the twenty four. It's Ian Dutta. He is for Hendrick Motorsports. Well, he's second in the charts now, but uh, he was the owner of this series, the New Texaco Cup Series, but he couldn't drive last season because he was in the booth. But now he is in the car. He's in the car. He's going to be a rookie. Oh. Let's see, Ian. Let's see how Ian Dutta can do in formally his series, not his series anymore. It's mine. But we do have a veteran for fastest time. It's Matthew M Matthew Fuller for Penske. You know, let's see here. I think we have three veterans in this pack of cars. We have Carl Basile and Michael Finch, two rookies. Then we have Sa Henry Sanfer, Matthew Fuller, and Ash Curtis, I believe. Yes, it is Ash Curtis. There's three veterans and two rookies in this small pack of cars. Let's take a look at Michael Finch here. He's one driver coming out of the wood woodworks. We never even heard of this guy. And he just came up and just signed the registration forms. He's going to be for Robbie Gordon Racing. Unless he changes that name, which he can. If you don't have teams yet, you can still get your team. Create your own team with your driver. And signups are still open. There's only 32 cars taken. See, they're all single filed, but Ash Curtis is currently leading this pack. Now we have San Henry Sanford. With the 48.029. Oh boy. <coughs> and now let's take a look at other people in the field. Here's Gabe Messina. He's going to be in the one car operation for Messina Motorsports. You know, he just, you know, a really new driver, a really new team coming out of the woodworks. Bunch of new, bunch of drivers coming out of the woodworks. Here comes ja Jackie Tang for Phil Parson Racing. Jackie Tang, he... You probably heard of him somewhere. He's in a couple other series. But he's a rookie in this one. Now let's take a look at... That's Gabe Messina again. Alexander Chastain for Roush Fenway. He is one of the veterans in here. We have 10 veterans. And there's like 23 rookies so far in this. So. Alexander Shastine. I think he won a race last season. I, I'm not entirely sure. But then we have John McNamara here. He's another veteran. This Jackie Tang, the rookie, getting some, getting some helpful hints from the guys, from the veterans here. 
But I think this might be a new track for these guys. I don't think they went to Talladega last year. But as you can see, you can see the people coming to the line. But let's take a look. Here comes Garrett Sinor. Yeah, Sinor for Roush Fenway. One of the newest guys. And he hopes to make it big. And, uh, you know, off his first. We had never, never really heard of him again. So this is a pretty small series, and we get pretty small guys. And I then. Skyler Dixon for Texaco Cup Motorsports. Once again, that's a one-car team. Skyler Dixon. He's, he's one of those up-and-coming guys in NR2003. He's showing us amazing thing. He, he I think he won the race in the Nora Red Bull Cup Series before I got, you know, canceled early. Here's Nick Macchiola. Sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. But he's one of the do those new rookies. Let's just get on and... Here's Gabe Williams. The brother of PJ Williams racing for Williams Racing. a small pack going on here and here's Kyle Thomas he is a rookie for Roush Fenway there's two Roush Fenway cars in this bunch of field let's put the cars here well the fastest time is a 47.440 nobody has beaten it yet But here comes Charlie Rodriguez for Golf Racing. There's two 16s in, 16s in this field too. But Charlie Rodriguez. He's one of these, one of these really new drivers in NR2032. Never really heard of him. Here comes Jordan Culp in the 13. He is a rookie once again. No, he's doing really well in practice. I mean, in, in testing, he's you know just taking his line, just working this track out. But let's take a look at who's in front of him. It's DJ Curtis in the 29 for Richard Childress. He's one of those veterans too. Here is Brandon Freight. He is a rookie. Uh, another rookie in this huge pack of cars. Here's Nick Pericles. We already talked about him. Jason Trost. He is the top of the charts right now. He is a veteran and he will race in the veteran showdown. Very exciting for him. Here's Zachary Taylor in the 88. He is a rookie. Doing pretty good so far. We know he's still had to crash his car. Tom Gerard in the 56 for Michael Walter Racing. Another one of those rookies. Bunch of rookies. I'm sorry. Here comes Jacob Anthony, that 98 Chevy. Another one of those rookies trying to get by. Jacob Anthony is currently in the top 10 in this testing session.
we already talked about Alan Cavagnaro. Here, oh, take a look at the 15 for Michael Walter Bracing. Jeffrey Buckeye, he is in 7th place. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Buckeye had lots of controversy because apparently of a YouTube video that said he died. He claimed he was hacked. He, that's why. That's why he says he claims he was hacked. Many people believe he put up the video just for attention, but uh, he's racing in this series. Certainly not dead. Here's Brad Johnson, a rookie. <laughs> he is. He is uh, racing for Joe Gibbs. And he's doing pretty good. You know, not in the top 10, but he's keeping his line. He's just... He's just working his car. Now we got another person in this pack we haven't talked about yet. Pretty big name in NR2003. It's Dylan Young. He's a rookie in the series. He wasn't around for season 2. Didn't even know about this. He didn't even know about this series in season 1. He's second in the charts, and he raced in other big series like NNS CRA and ARWLS when it was uh, running. But he's doing pretty good with that with that uh, Pepsi Dodge. And can Zachary Taylor going off into the pits? It looks like. Dylan Young might be slowing, but here comes Ian Perez racing for Hendrick. Got two Ians in this field, Ian Dylan and Ian Perez, both are rookies. It's getting pushed by the veteran Henry Sadler. He's doing pretty good. Let's see where he is. He is 28. Now twenty, now yeah, twenty eighth. But it's just one of his first times getting to an actual race car. Great crash or anything, just keeping his line. Up. He's doing pretty good. Here's L. J. Mills in the fourteenth. LJ Mills is currently is, is currently 32nd out of 33rd. So he's gonna need a lot of work on his car done before testing session number two. And he and he this is gonna be his Texaco Cup shootout car. Once again, Texo Cup shootout is pole setters and rookies racing. Here is Carl the Seal racing for Phoenix Racing. He's currently in fifth place. He's one of his, this is one of his first times getting into a race car. He's in fifth. So he got he got racing in his blood. Take a look at it. And he got all the field. So let's go up to Jason Tross, who is the fastest right now, nobody else could beat his time. No, let's take a look at people. This is pretty... This is pretty big. 
about a seven car pack. Little look through the field. This is the biggest pack. We got about five minutes and twenty seconds remaining. Looks like Jason Shaw is gonna be fastest. Now let's take a look at lap around Talladega. Jason Shaw is still the testing session leader. Let's see where he is. Got about three and a half minutes remaining. 18 to top 18. Have a 40 seconds to 47 second lap. And then the rest of then 19th through 32nd or 48th. And then the fastest lap, the uh, the 99 put down was a 50.676. Now there's mini packs all around the racetrack. Ooh boy. Man, a veteran will be, will be the fastest in testing testing session number two. We haven't seen the top spot change in about 15 minutes or something, I don't know, 10 minutes at least. Once again, this is the biggest field of John McNamara. He will also be in the Texaco Cup shootout because he was a pole sitter. That will be the same with Alexander Shastine. So two veterans and 23 rookies will be in the Texas Cup shootout. Now we're going to have two classes of racing actually. The women's class and the men's class. Right now, for the women's class, the women, the women's class. Let's see here. Twenty eighth. Wow, the women's class is pretty far back, but Brenda Pericles winning that. Is winning that. Testing session for the women's. 
Let's go to Jason Tross, your test, your fastest in testing session number two. He will get one more lap. Looks like Jason Tross would have to be the one to watch out for this season. New drivers, new tracks, new cars. Testing is over. As you can see, we're going to take a look at all the rest of the people. And there it is. There it is. There it is. We'll come to you with testing session number two in a little bit. I'm Chris Washington 97. Peace out.